What's going on YouTube? <sighs> you know, I really fucking hate it when uh, people put me in this kind of position. And I fucking, I worried about this when I quit my last job and came back to this one. I sincerely worried myself about it. And I thought, no, nah, it'd be all right. But then you find out more and more. And it's like, I can't fucking keep doing that, dude. I can't turn my cheek from it. I can't. I really shouldn't even be fucking talking about this. And I haven't fucking drank in a week, but I sincerely just want to go home, fucking get drunk, and try to collect my goddamn thoughts. I can't. Holy fuck. So let's just say where I work is a uh, it's a very wealthy company. It's a mom and pop business. It started back in the 70s, and they earned well for themselves. When they first started out, they did not have two pennies to rub together, two nickels, however you want to call it. Um, a very, very slow upcoming business, but it, it, it did have its peaks and then it went down and then it came back up and then it went down. It, it kind of fluctuated a little bit, I suppose. Um, and as of recent, you know, this is a good company. It really is. I mean, they, they take care of their employees. I, I kind of wish I could get a raise. I kind of feel like I deserve a raise, but I'm reimbursed in other ways such as like hey man can i borrow this fucking trailer for like two weeks i gotta haul this stuff this guy's paying me to haul this stuff yeah man go ahead and take it you'll be all right we don't need it till next year anyway so you'll be fine being able to use equipment things like that hey man i need a truck for the weekend or i need this you know is there any way i can borrow these tools for the weekend yeah we can make that happen you know just bring them back and i mean if you break it fucking let us know so we can fix it or replace it you know and uh, you know those times you kind of walk in the office and you just, I don't know, it's almost like you can feel that tension going on. And I got that the other day and I didn't say shit. And I usually don't. I'm, I'm usually pretty fucking quiet on, on what I feel. Unless it's, you know, close friends or something like that. I just, I don't know, something's awkward in the air. You know, well, hey, consider this, this or this, you know. Anyway, I walked in and, and I just had this weird fucking thought on my head like, this place is going to be very fucking different when everybody quits. And I don't know why that thought came across my fucking noggin, but it did. And it was just a quick thought, just like, bam, done. You know, and then asked a question that I needed an answer to, and I went back on a, about my business that I was asked to do. And, uh... So, to make this a short story long, I, uh... I'd heard about a week ago that a couple weeks prior to that, our boss was caught by his girlfriend, fiance, whatever, they, they're not married, but they live together and they have been for a couple years now and that's their business or whatever. And once again, I really shouldn't even be speaking about this because I care about my boss, you know, his well-being, things like that. But in a situation like this, it really fucking hurts me too. In many different ways. Um, especially in a fucking small town. And I'm not talking trash by any means, but you have to consider the factors when you do something like this, it affects everyone around you, anybody that may or may not be involved. Any future persons that may or may not be involved. Uh, anyway, his girlfriend came home and found him fucking another woman on their kitchen table. And mind you, this is not the first time it's this something like this has happened. The guys also had the woman that he was having sex with on the table he was he's also been with her daughter too so it's and it's and this woman's in her 50s or whatnot and her daughter's in her 30s something to that effect i don't know i can't really keep track and quite honestly i don't care to know any of this stuff most of the time so i just kind of do what i can to stay out of the office so i don't hear the bullshit like this but uh so it was revealed to me that they're having problems there too he's also having problems financially that uh, he's just not bringing in a whole lot of money anymore. That 
I mean, we've got more money outgoing than we have that is incoming, and we've cut off a lot. And I mean a lot. I've been working with this company for eight years now. Uh, I've seen them when they were in their high tides. They just, I mean, if they needed a piece of equipment, they would go and get it. If they could make a couple hundred thousand off of, dollars off of this uh, project or whatnot, they would go and spend the $50,000 to make money off of this project. I mean, they, they would stop it, and they have stopped at nothing to make sure that they've got a way to bring money in. And they've always been very profitable, and especially in this area, you're always, most always going to be very profitable unless you fuck it up. But I ain't met no fucking million dollar pussy that was good enough that you're willing to lose a million and a half dollars a year income off of it. I mean, I've had some good pussy out there, but not that fucking good. Not good enough to, million, to lose a million dollars on. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I, It's never been good enough that I'm willing to lose every fucking thing that I have over it. Don't get me wrong. People are fucking stupid and they'll make some stupid fucking moves. But this one here fucked everybody because with what I just understood is not only is the two people, the two main money makers at your fucking business is fixing to fucking just lay up and quit. And I, I asked them, I begged them years ago, hey, look, man, you know, if you and you fucking quit and you got together and started your own business, you know how much profit you'd make? because you wouldn't deal with this and you wouldn't have all this fucking money out going. No, nah, no, nah, we don't want to do that. That's You don't make no money doing that, you know, especially with one already being established. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I just found out that there was like, oh, six or seven customers that dropped their business. As soon as this rumor came around, they came in, paid, paid what bill they had on the table and left. And they will not be back. So there's that much. And how, how does this affect me, you say? Well, it, it affects me very, very largely in the sense that, wow, she was kind of cute. In the sense that, uh, how does this reflect on me? How do, how do the customers look at this shit on me if I'm employed there? You know, as long as I stay employed, as long as I stay employed by this person, how does that make me look? I don't even know how to explain that. I mean, it reflects poorly on your entire business when you do something like that. It's not just your actions. It's not, you know, other people know that this person, this person, the guy that runs the business, you know, he's, this one here is just the owner. This guy practically runs it. This guy is the main fucking footwork, does all the footwork, and this guy does all the footwork, you know. And then you have your bottom men that do all the footwork, such as myself, you know. It affects everybody. And uh, now that everybody in town, I mean, it's a fucking small town like this, and it, that shit spread like wildfire. By the end of the day, the way I heard, there was like 60-some fucking phone calls that the two main men that operate this company or help keep it going and, and bring money in. There was like 60-some calls they fucking dealt with by the end of the day over this situation. This uh, million-dollar pussy that our boss was having, I guess. And once again, I mean, that makes every fucking person look bad at the company. That reflects poorly on the rest of us. Okay, we're not we're not out doing it and shit, or whatever, you know, but it's like, fuck, man. Like, we deal with customers that are Mennonite. You know, they're of a certain religion. They're. They're willing to pack up and leave as soon as, I guarantee as soon as they hear about some of this, they're going to pack up and leave. You know, think of all the inspections that we fucking do. I mean, damn. Don't get me wrong. I already want out anyway. I, I have wanted out. I would like to put myself in a position or I would like to get myself in a position where I am back into some type of management where I can deal with trucks and things like that where, I mean, I can... Basically, I just kind of want to play master of puppets, you know. I've got knowledge behind me. I can do this. I know how to handle these. I'd really like to get back into the fucking drilling, you know. And uh, orchestrate some way or another, orchestrate drilling equipment. And I guarantee in this town, that ain't going to happen. Nobody wants that unless it's somebody starting up a business and knows me personally or what have you. But 
I'd really like to, to get into some type of management, making more than what I make now I, I, per year. There's, I just, I'm finding it any more hard to, to sustain my bills. I know my credit card bills and things like that are my own issue and problem, but I, I, anymore, even for what I make, I, I find it hard. I'm striving a lot, so, uh, str uh, struggling a lot to find these bills paid and uh, I'm you know granted I'm also trying to put money into my house you know it's it's strugglesome it really is and I fucking hate it some days but with this Jesus once again small town people fuck up people I guess they easily forgive I can't I am not one to forgive very easily at all. In fact, I can walk the rest of this earth without giving forgiveness. And I think a lot of that is due to I don't ask for a lot of forgiveness. I fuck up sometimes and I say a, some wrong shit to people, usually inebriated, which is my own fault. I have nobody to blame except for myself under those situations. But a lot of that lies in truth. I mean, Granted, there's been a shit ton of times I've been joking, you know, and people have taken me seriously. It's like, dude, it was just a joke. You need to calm your ass down. You know, no, I don't want to do this. or No, I don't want to do that. And I don't know. But I don't intentionally go out and insist that my customers or friends' wives cheat on their husbands or significant others with myself. Uh, I don't invite people's wives over to have parties with them without their husbands. You know, it's, it's... Wow. I mean, what the fuck am I going to do now? I got to find something different. Like, I really... I, I'm, I'm tired of busting my ass to see no goals accomplished. I mean, I've accomplished some of the smaller goals that I've had in mind or set forth towards myself. But I, at the end of the day, I still don't feel accomplished. Fucking sucks, man. I mean, 35, never been married, never had a chance to be engaged because I've, I've met these women that would cheat on you very quickly. And I'm not going to tolerate that. I will not tolerate that. And it's like, why would you tolerate that? I mean, if your wife is willing to fucking give up or take a chance knowing that she could or could get could not get caught if your husband is willing to fucking cheat on you knowing that they could get caught you're risking everything this person taking everything that they have and walking out of your life sure you can find another but once again word spreads like wildfire especially in an area like this like i can't tell you how hard right now it is for me to not go and get a fucking drink and just finish my night getting drunk. I really cannot tell you. But I'm gonna go into the grocery store, I need some toothpaste, and uh, I'm gonna strive for another another night of sobriety. I've got some welding stuff I'm gonna do in the garage, and uh, I'm already wearing jeans. I had, to, I had to fucking, out of eight years doing this, I finally fucked up and forgot to open a valve, and I, blew a hose and absolutely doused myself in fucking 32 and had to wear that for like the next two hours so uh it's been a been an interesting monday although it's fucking tuesday so i don't know i guess i'm done complaining i'm gonna once again i'm gonna go get some toothpaste and uh till next time thanks for fucking watching <laughs> you